Hi designers, welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out this amazing 3D product view which you can scroll around, which you can change inside Figma. Yes, this is a Figma prototype. And if that wasn't enough, you can definitely do this with any product. It could be a car, it could be a t-shirt, it could be a shoe, whatever you like. Also, this is not restricted to Figma. You can even replicate the same process in any design tool to get the same results. So without further ado, let's just get started. Also, today's video has been very kindly sponsored by Around. More on that later. So as you can see, I've already created a Tesla interface. Now you can do this with any screen, it doesn't matter. Also, you need to create an area where the car will be inserted. So I'm I've just created this basic rectangle on the left here where the car will originally be put. Now I want you guys to open a new browser window and what we have here is spline.design. That's the URL that you need to open. And as you can see, Spline tool opens up. And Spline is super simple to use for such 3D graphics. And again, you don't have to install anything. Just say launch on the web page here and it launches it here itself. You might have to log in or sign up. Now, once that is done, I want to go to the top right here and create a new project. Once that project is created, just delete anything that is here on screen and open another browser window. And this time we're going to get the actual Tesla car. So we're going to go to a web page called sketchfab.com. And this website is all about getting 3D models for different things. You can get it for a shoe, you can get it for a car. In this case, we're going to say Tesla. And we're going to say downloadable just so that the elements that we can see on screen are downloadable. As you can see, we have some amazing examples on screen. We have the Cybertruck, we have Tesla Model S, Model 3, Model Y. We even have the Tesla Tequila, which is crazy. But in this case, I want the Tesla Model 3 since that is what our web page is all about. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Tesla Model 3. And under this, if I scroll down a little bit, there is a download 3D model. I want to click on that. And the first option is FBX. So go ahead and download the FBX format. That's the easiest way. You can even download an OBJ if they have it or a GLTF. But in this case, I'm going to go for FBX. Now, once I've downloaded that, I want to go back into Spline. And here I want to import that car. It's actually easier than you think it is. Now, once you've extracted the zip file that we just downloaded, you need to go into the folder called source. And inside that you'll have a Tesla Model 3. I'm going to drag the Model 3 file into this area inside Spline. And Spline, as you can see, is doing its magic. Once that is done, as you can see, we have imported this car. Hold space and just drag around to make sure it's centered here. And now you can hold Alt or Option on your keyboard and then drag this area around to drag the car on a 3D axis like this. You can do the full 360 view as you can see. Now the car itself looks a little cartoony, but we're gonna change that right now. Now if I double click on this window right here, I will get the window area covered. And on the right, under material, we have this blue color. We need to change the opacity of the blue color from 100 on this side to something like 40 or 50 pixels. And now as you can see, if I zoom in while holding control, uh, see, you can see the internals of the car as well, the seat, the steering wheel. It's not very HD right now, but that's okay. If you had a more detailed model that you had downloaded, it would be more detailed, that's for sure. Now, in this case, I also want, I can also go ahead and change the color of the car by, if I double click on any area, on the right, we have this little white color. You can always give this a gray color if you want or we can always give this a red color or a blue color. Now you can even play around with things like lighting. So on the top in Spline, you'll have all these amazing options. So if I click on plus, you can add things around the car. So if I want, I can add a nice little spotlight or directional light. I might even add a point light. So I'm going to add a spotlight right here and I can move it around by holding these different arrows and also increase or decrease the intensity, the distance that the light can travel, even the alignment. So as you can see, it's aligning like this. I would like to make sure that the intensity is lower. Uh, a little better for sure. You can even turn on shadows. So in the background, the shadows will also appear if there's a light right here. Now that the car lighting is set up, you can even add more details, more car, more textures. That's up to you. 
But now we're going to import this car into our Figma. And how do we do that? If I deselect everything on the right, I have this publish and share option. This publish and share option will basically allow us to create a certain URL or web component for our Figma. I can also adjust things like showing the spline logo. I'm going to hide it. Uh, for my zoom, I'm going to disable it. For panning, I'm going to say yes. Quality we can set up. So the detail I want it to be high for now, but you can adjust it based on your website. Now, if I say export, it'll do the magic as you can see doing the magic. And as you can see, it now has a embed as well as a public URL. Public URL for us right now is not very useful. For us, the embed link is what we really want. So if I double click on this and just copy all this, I'm just gonna say, okay. And now I'm gonna go back into my Figma file. All right, so before we go forward, today's sponsor is Spline. This is a tool for designers, developer, product managers, anyone who wants a more immersive experience while on a video call. So as you can see on screen, there are two circles where two people are talking and behind it, there's Figma. So they're doing their work on Figma while they're chatting with these chat bubbles, essentially. They also have this crazy technology where the camera follows your face. So instead of showing your entire background, it only focuses on your face. And if you move from left to right, it moves with you. They also have different modes for creators, for gamers, for developers, where you can have these crazy new themes and adjust those themes based on your purpose. Also, one thing that I noticed when I was using this tool myself is that they also allow GIF support. So while you're talking to somebody, a GIF will appear on screen in, inside our little circle. And it's a fun way to actually interact with each other while you're working from home or you're just doing a cool little project with your friends. Also, there's a mobile app available for Spline, again, once for free, or join a meeting from your phone itself. I think this is a great creative way to host video meetings. So go ahead, check it out. Link is of course in the... So wherever you want this card to be, for example, this is where I want it to be. I'm going to say control P or command P and search for something called Anima. Anima is a little plugin. If you haven't installed it, I'll have a link in the description so that you can install it. It allows me to add code and elements like this into our Figma files or any other tools files. XT, Sketch, it works everywhere. I will select the rectangle. And on the right, I have multiple options. First of all, I'm gonna select, I'm gonna create a new project. So in this case, it's 3D product. And under this, we have various options right now. Now there's something called embed. Remember the embed code we had copied? I'm gonna say embed code plus. And under this inside layer here, I'm gonna paste that little iframe. Now, if I say save and exit out of there, it now has this little edit sign. That means we've added the code and it's ready to go. I would suggest saying use Figma constraints before moving on. And once this is done, and once you've added all the settings here, preview in browser. Now, the thing is it says preview in browser. However, the preview will come up here like this. You don't have to press space. I only have my hands on the mouse. And that's it. Now, what if we want it on a white background? Yeah, that would look much better. So if we go back, now what we can do is inside the properties right here, on the top right, we have frame. And inside frame, we can select any color that we want. So since our background is white, we can do that. Or we can even do a transparent. So if you have a gradient or any other random color, you can even do a transparent. For now, I'm going to do white so that it looks immersive. And on and there you have it. Our Tesla is now on an actual floor inside this web view. Doesn't it look brilliant? You can, of course, adjust everything else inside Spline. So right now it looks kind of half-baked, but if you make more adjustment, more details, you will get an even better 3D product like I showed in the beginning.